Yes, YouTube, it's your boy, MZ, and today we're gonna unbox the Galaxy S22 Ultra. For those of you that don't know, I unbox and review tech. But without further ado, let's get into this beast of a video. So, Galaxy S22 Ultra, we've got it in the black model. We've got a little cover on the back, but I want to leave that on for now, just to protect the phone a bit better. We've got these massive cameras. Oh my gosh, bro, is that like four five cameras but uh if you lots can see that we've got our buttons cutouts you know standard oh and we've got this little pen this is like what you get on for note but i believe with this year we're not getting a note but we have got for s22 ultra this is sick that nah, bro this is what you call a big man's phone or big woman's phone we've got quick start guide manual let's leave that to the side we've also got da, 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 da. oh yeah so we've also got our charger in that little box little box usb type c to usb type c as standard but i the box is quite thin so obviously there is no power brick in this they're going for the same direction as apple no power brick in a phone box bro that's that's disappointing i can't lie bro apparently it's it's gonna help save the environment in some sort of way you know cut down on waste and for me i am a tech enthusiast so I've got my own Type C power bricks. I've got my MacBook. I've got my PS5. Things that all use USB Type C connectors. But for the average user, I don't know if you're gonna have that laying at home or at least enough of them. So it would have been nice to see a power brick included in the box. But all right, that's it for now. Let me quickly set this up and I'll get back to you. So I've now set up for Galaxy S22 Ultra, Samsung's flagship phone, with an S Pen, everything intact. Look at that, quick. Oh, all right, so when I open this, it goes quickly. Bro, you can even hear like the sounds of me writing, right? Light, heavy. Yeah, look, look how the gradient like changes. There are different hardnesses. Let me rub all of this out. All right, so that's like a quick memory little drop. Quickly open it, just a little tap. See how quick that was? Wow. Bro, that is sick. Wait, what? Wait, look. Tap, bro. That is so fast. Are you mad? Hello, yes. Bro, look at that. I tap it, look. Tap. All right, cool, I don't know what I bought. Tap. Bro, on my life, on my life, I'm sorry, but that is sick, look. That's it, look. Sick. All right, so I go into, I go into the camera settings. That's seam optimizer. Scroll down a bit, S pen. We can I put it here, like tap. All right, cool, I've got a little button. And hello. I can smart select objects. Let me go. I can translate pieces of text. I can write and I'll actually translate to text. Air actions. If I can take photos like from a bit of a distance away. Play music as well. I'm more of an S Pen. That is pretty neat. Thank you. Samsung, I actually love them for that. Yes, we want that. Selfie color tone, natural or bright. 
for natural. Wait, yeah, natural. Bright, I think, just enhances the lighting. But we're going to leave on natural for now. Video stabilization. Advanced recording options. What is this? Save space without sacrificing video quality. Okay. Okay, that's six. So different file types you can save in. Zoom in, Mac. All right. So when I zoom in on my phone, it actually um, is like a directional kind of Mac. So I can zoom in maybe 30 meters away, 20 meters away, and it'll be like I'm 20 meters closer or 30 meters closer. That is pretty sick. I wonder how well that works. Let me know if I should do a full review on this phone. Subscribe to the channel for that if you do. HDR10 plus videos. I was recording in video and pro modes. HDR, this is, it says labs. Mm. We're going to leave HDR10 plus because I don't know what apps don't support it. And tracking autofocus. Keep the rear camera focus on for selective subjects, even if they move. Yeah, you want that. Right, this camera is actually so beautiful and this phone is really smooth too. Little portrait mode. Little portrait mode. Yeah, look at that, that's pretty sick. This camera is actually insane. A lot better than... In fact, let me quickly get for S20, the S20 and for S22 Ultra. I can see both beautiful screens. This is 120 hertz, but only at 1080p. This is, I believe, 120 hertz at full quad HD. It literally fits the whole phone, including the body and the case, just in the screen. That is insane. For back of the phones, the cameras are insanely big on the new S22 Ultra. Cutouts. The S22 Ultra is a bit thicker though. It's a bit of a chunky phone. So it feels kind of thin in the hand. I actually love this phone. Like, this phone is sick. But yeah. Anyways, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. We've got more videos like this and way better out soon. Put that notification bell on if you want to be one of the first people to see my videos. And if you somewhat enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, then please leave a like on the video. If you don't, leave a like anyways. But alright, peace. Let's go.